Meet Leonardo.ai. Craft worlds in minutes, not months. It's an artistic tooling platform where you can rapidly ideate and have a creative studio to build entire generative content productions. And not only is it fast, easy, and artist friendly, but it's also extremely, extremely useful and powerful. In this video, we're gonna dive in and take a look at exactly what we can and can't do and some different use cases with Leonardo.ai. So when you get your whitelist approval, you're gonna get prompted to create a username. Next, we let it know our interests, advertising, art, marketing, product design, stock images, video games, and others. And now we're in. Welcome to Leonardo.ai. Up at the top, we get to see featured models, which are models that we can start using in our AI designs. For example, Deliberate 1.1 is a powerful model that is great for both photorealism and artistic creation. If we just go ahead and click on this, we get to generate with this model and we see 148,922 other images that were created with this model. And scrolling through, there are some very, very nicely done models to get that photorealistic but artistic look. Next up, if we want to get a little bit cuter, we can jump over to Luna, a magical mystery creature. But look, you get a ton of cute little Pixar almost looking animals or something really weird. But if something captures our attention and we want to figure out how they did that, we just click on it and we get to see their prompt details. Cute little magical mystery spirit fairy like creature girl in magical forest illuminated by swirling nebula of cosmic dust, dark colors, digital art illustration, dark colors again, digital art illustration again, just to really emphasize things in perfect symmetry, rim lighting, Pixar studio, high definition. But all of that aside, there are two tools that I'm actually really interested in, and this is what actually makes Leonardo a little bit different than something like Midjourney. So if we hop over to AI Canvas, it's a beta, what we can do is we can actually upload one of our images here, draw a mask on it, erase some things, select some things, move some things around, generate one, two, three, or four numbers of images. We can switch between stable division 1.5 or 2.1, change the different dimension that we want to export it in. We can change the aspect ratio, the guidance scale, the step count, the tilling, which is ideal for repeating background textures but what we do is we type in a prompt here uh, we can also add a negative prompt and let's just go ahead and upload an image here and see what we can play around with let's take a ai picture of myself and let's see what we can do with the face here let's draw a mask real quick let's say we just want to focus on this part of the face i think we have to fill it in as well let's increase the brush size so what we're going to be doing is we're going to see if we can add some computer chips and make myself look a little bit more cyborgish. Add computer chips to make a cyborg face. And we're only going to want to generate one picture to save our 250 tokens that we have remaining for today. And we're going to hit generate. Now, would you look at that? Now, what's super cool about a software like this is that it requires little to no design experience. For example, let's pull up what this used to look like. This was just a picture of my face. And now all I did was tell it to add some computer chip style stuff. And look, it did all of that. It masked it. I mean, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it took less than a minute to do. If I wanted to do something like this on Photoshop, that would take quite a long time to figure out the different design to the different textures and the colors and the lighting. And it's pretty, pretty powerful stuff. And especially for being this early in this type of technology, I'm super excited to see where the future of this type of stuff goes. Now, hopping over to just the regular AI image generation, what we can do here is we can type our prompt Tell it the number of images we want to generate, the dimensions, the guidance scale, the step count, the tilling. We can do an image to image or coming soon they have an image prompt where we can upload an image as inspiration, I assume. But what we do is uh, we can do Leonardo Creative, Leonardo Style. Prompt Magic is a new experimental render pipeline that might give more accurate outputs. Try it out and let us know what you think on Discord. So let's just type in a prompt here. Picture of a man looking into a cityscape that looks like a super high 
tech cyborg neon lights cinematic epic symmetric and uh generate again this used one token out of the 250 tokens that we have available that reset in one hour and 49 minutes it looks like so we're just gonna let this run and would you look at that a picture of a man looking into a cityscape that looks like a super high-tech cyborg with neon lights and cinematic epic style and that looks pretty symmetrical to me now let's see what happens if we click prompt magic let's generate the same exact prompt now this one is a picture same prompt and it looks like the same dude but now he's just facing us so i'm not entirely sure what this prompt magic did but it's still pretty cool to see so that was all under leonardo creative if we hop over here to Leonardo Select and run that same prompt, let's see what it gives us. So the Leonardo Select style looked similar to that first one. It looks like the same person just wearing a jacket now, but in this super cool like tunnel looking thing. You can unzoom an image, you can download, remove the background, edit in canvas, or just delete in general. Something cool that we want to try here is unzooming the image, which is a beta but we're going to run that and see what this should do is punch out. If this is the zoomed in version, we should be able to zoom out a little bit and see more of the environment, but keep the image roughly the same. It worked. We just zoomed out a little bit. This was the original and this is what it generated. That's pretty interesting. And then lastly, they have a Leonardo signature. So let's try that with the same exact prompt. And now we have something that looks Pretty epic in my opinion. Now let's say, instead of running this very generic prompt, we need some help. This tool allows you to come up with more complex prompt ideas from a single prompt. Example, if you type in a car and click ideate, it will come up with a number of more complex concepts, which will include a car. So let's take our prompt and ideate. We can do this a thousand times this month. Man stands atop futuristic cityscape illuminated by a dazzling array of neon lights and cybernetic structures. And then right here, we can just really quick hit generate. And it'll take us right back here and start generating from that prompt that it just generated. So thanks to the prompt that it generated, we use that to generate an image with some more stylistic words to get us a pretty cool looking design. Again, it always helps to just get more and more ideas to help structure what you're looking for. Now we looked at Leonardo Creative, Leonardo Select, Leonardo Signature. We know what stable diffusions look like, but taking a look at custom models, we can actually get community models where community members upload their own models and style guides or we can take a look at the most popular platform models for example rpg 4.0 where this model is best for creating rpg characters and portraits with the ability to create photorealism and more deliberate which we looked at earlier in this video dream shaper 3.0 which is portrait styles as well as artistic backgrounds leonardo select we already looked at leonardo creative we already looked at battle axes generates a variety of detailed axe designs so that's a very specific use case for for example video game or asset design we have pixel art where you can be trained on headshots and, and create different pixel art chest armor crystal deposits and a bunch of other video game assets. Well, let's just hop into RPG 4.0 and we'll generate with this model using the same prompt that we have been using. Let's see what it gives us. So you can tell the colors are a little bit more contrasted and saturated. It looks like a little bit more of a 3D look. What we can do is we can hop back over to the different platform models and maybe we can pick this pixel art and we can generate with this model. Let's just write here a portrait of a man. Let's just write here a portrait of a man who stands on top and we'll see if we punch in a little bit and get a nice headshot pixelated version though. And look at that taking the similar style and now giving us a portrait of the man standing in that pixelated art style. And then hopping over to community models this is some pretty cool stuff where you can get like 3D isometrics, 
explosions photographs and whatever else other people are designing it's a really cool marketplace of collaboration which is something in my opinion tools like midjourney and other platforms are currently missing so i'm super excited to continue playing around with this and trying out different things like the image to image or using image as a prompt hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this make sure to like this video so you tell me that you like this video so i can make more videos like this and with that i'll see you in the next video